Well, Odarka is on her way to cut some more reeds. She's got her sickle in hand and ready to attack them. Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. We're in the we're well into winter now. And lots of great comments are coming in. I got one that showed me something I had not realized. I was kicking around the other day of putting some backup charcoal into the warehouse, but it's not an option. I didn't see the only available with a check mark there. So, yeah, that, there we go. That lets you say, yeah, let's do charcoal. So that apparently lists everything. Oh, you gotta do it each time. I didn't realize that. What I don't want is a great big list of everything that we don't have. So, yeah, it makes you do it every time. That's, that's, that's a good way to do that. Okay, well, thanks for that little tip. What else came in? Great ideas for the market area and putting, I guess, kind of a similar idea of, although is it already here? It is already here, so there is no little checkbox. This does list it. Well, I guess it doesn't list everything, because we do have... No, we don't have mead. Well, I'm not sure about that. Some of these folks may have brought their own mead. That's possible. So it's kind of hard to tell in that screen whether or not it's listing everything in the game, or they brought such a variety with them. I'm not seeing mead anywhere that it just happens to be in one of the houses or was in one of the houses and got drank <laughs> and so it's a known item but not in the game at the moment but the idea was to put firewood in here so that o Olesa will go and get it like she just did and it'll be a little bit shorter of a run for some of these folks to get the firewood here and or when we have you know other groupings of houses all around and eventually i'm guessing maybe it's here i don't know or we clear a lot of this out somewhere there will be a city center with much uh i don't know more refined housing is that what, a way to put it where's housing we've got all of these row houses that were added I think that was the beginning of Alpha 5, when you put in all the row houses, with a lot of different options, uh, and pathways through the buildings to the to the space behind, stores underneath, I think, barber shop, doctor kind of combos, I'm not sure, we'll get into that when that happens, and the rate that I play, that will be next year sometime. <laughs> um, what other tips came in? Um, one brought up a comment that I didn't even notice when I was in here saying 650 nails for the salt works I didn't notice line four stone this guy takes 2800 stone thankfully the traders give us access to stone long before we put this bridge in and this bridge in and where is it Stone, stone, stone. No, it's not over there. It's in the snow right now. Stone is all the way over here. Yeah. We're over there. We got a ways to go before we're making our own stone. So we do want to find some things that we can sell to keep us balanced so that we can buy. And I keep getting more and more comments that charcoal is the way to go as an early trading commodity, an early easy trading commodity. So we will get that going. Do I kick the speed up? Yeah. We've got to give our laborers time. Oh, we got that filled. Good. Get that cooking. Now they're going over here and they're going to start filling this one like crazy. I noticed that our foresters were busy making firewood while well, we're bringing in logs right now then we're gonna go chop another tree okay they are getting us ready for the slot over here yeah they're taking these trees down so when they drop a tree they get at least two pieces per well I have seen some trees leave only one but these taller ones leave two and I even saw once that left three 
They had to keep coming back. It was when I was doing my little test play. And I was really wanting them to get these nine houses done. I had built some of them in the trees. I thought, well, we're going to need the logs anyway, so that's fine. And, but they were just a few too many. And then they kept making two and three trips for the same tree. And I was thinking, oh, this, is, this, this isn't working. So I learned that lesson. Anyway, they are putting a house in. That's that one right there. So we had enough nails for that one. Next job, they're already, they already have all the nails they need for this one. And this guy, they were working down here. And all the nails are in for that one. So nails are catching up. Well, we'll lose them all again when we get to the, the two traders. But we're, uh, we're ahead of the curve again. All right, so we did get firewood in there. We don't have any marrow yet. That was something that used to be or is in the the housing somewhere, but at too small of a quantity to actually sell to us. Oh, we got new items that just came in as far as available. Go ahead and buy those. And something just triggered. Garlic. So you can add garlic Oh, and beetroots. Okay. So we are starting to fill these guys up. Um, while I'm waiting for nails, and I hate having it running fast around me while I'm trying to plan something. It feels, it's too stressful for me. It feels like there's something happening over here, like the charcoal is running out, and I'm not noticing because I'm busy playing with this. And actually, I can't see the designs in the snow. This has a nice design on it, and I can't tell. So maybe now isn't the time to do this, but I was thinking about redesigning this area a little bit, kind of cleaning it up, and yeah, winter is not the time to do that. So what other trouble can we get into? What happens back over here? Let's grab, well, let's just think about industry for a little bit. We know we're going to want the oil where is oil you're over here aren't you the oil workshop for the sunflowers and this year we're gonna have a lot of sunflowers coming in I think we already have a few yeah I was about to say before I turned it on I checked here and we got no foods left over here like we don't need to even have this guy hired anymore but then I got to thinking yeah we moved everything back here but now it's so much easier for him to get it he's wiped them all out so you can nope go away go find another job somewhere we have spaces for builders don't need you for another whole season not till the next harvest um so we've got things stored in here including 200 sunflower seeds so oil sells quite well and they use the oil for their their homes for cooking and whatnot so that is a certainty that we want to get that one going it's only 100 nails so that's not too bad there is a main road going into it. Main archway. So dropping this guy conveniently right behind here would look kind of odd. A road going to nowhere. Needs to have a pathway going right into it. If I could have got him right in between the buildings or like where this guy was, that archway would have looked good right there. But that's not going to happen. Where would... It looked good to have a road just naturally end into it. If we do this, it's just going to be a bunch of little pathways rolling in. Now, if we do over here, this isn't where we're storing it. I could put a little granary back in here and set, you know, just one of these little guys right there and set that for sunflower. And that's possible. We're going to open up from here into an area so that means decoration at least this little guy I would plan on it going right there and you just don't fit do you or we do something a little more grand and grab this guy oh wait a minute He's lit up like like he's not happy, but that's right, we're showing all, all the time. Oh, okay, there's a disadvantage to, uh, to always show occupied space. What did I click there? Help. No? 
I clicked to go to the town hall. Ah, okay. What was the noise? I missed something. That is a village house was done. Okay. And so we could come out of here with the big one and just kind of enter a, a new area. And then have that entrance to the oil right there with a road going right in. And then the rest of it goes around it with buildings all around that center island. I can see that. But what I was about to say is... Oops, where am I? This little guy, I assume he didn't fit because he was still lit up. But it's very possible he does fit. But now it's not going to... Okay, place is occupied. So if I see the, the little red words down there, that's my... Yeah, he's he'll fit if I take him all the way back into there. Kind of like the big one, though. This guy at... Oops. I want to rotate. It's right-click to rotate the map, and it's right-click to turn him off. So, games that use the same key for so many different things. I'm playing um, Starfield by my, for myself right now, and that E key is used in so many things. Touch it, hold it, and do it here, but don't do it there. And it, it, yeah, I'm, I'm constantly <laughs> popping myself out of my pilot seat in my ship in the middle of a battle, hitting the E accidentally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, place is occupied, so we could do something like this, rotating our pathway more square with the city at this point. I could use fencing to force them to, to use it. Hmm. I wish I could get right up against it. I wish the uh, the blue part down there, the, the teal part, was diagonaled on the corner so I can set it in at a 45. I don't... Hmm. You know, I can spend a half hour just setting an arch. <laughs> I think I'm going to go further out like that. Oh, wait a minute here. There's an idea. If we were to do something more like this. Now, one advantage that the game Manor Lords is going to have when it comes out this spring is that you can get down first person level and actually walk around your town and, and see it from their point of view. <clears throat> I want to walk down this road right here and see, kind of open up into here and see what this looks like. I think this goes something more like that. And we will maybe fence here to maintain the road. We could fence there or straight across like this and put something else right in there. Even a market stall could go kind of in this area for very specific things like firewood. An idea, but if we rode in like this, is that the right angle? I'm just trying to follow this fence line here. I think that works. Where am I? Let's get a little further out. Pathway's over there. Fence coming in. Yeah, that's close enough. Then the oil works workshop could be kind of like so. Though I wish it was more centered. So that still kind of doesn't do what I was hoping. I wanted this guy over here. Hmm. Best light plans, huh? He could be at the end then. Or we go back to here. The, yeah, the idea still works, but I don't know if this is the right building for that island now. So I'll rotate you around. Right now the sunflower seeds are stored in this area. And really I'm just killing time right now till the snow goes away. So, hmm, we've got seven, five, and five. We've got 17 trees to take down so far. Where am I? I keep, keep getting my fingers in the wrong space, rotating the map instead of the building. You... I really don't know where this goes. I don't. Let's play with something different then. Town Hall. Where does he go? Coming up our bridge. Is that as far as I can go? Interesting. There are limits. Huh. So, with that town hall missing right there, 
would we want to see the center of the town hall up our road? I think we want it off the side a little bit, like so. The road can veer into it, and more of a park setting in front of it. Which means that campfire could be part of that if we went back a little further. And we would then see the windmill right over the top. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, we'll do something like that. You can go there. Where do you go? Trading post. Just before the trading post. Um, town hall needs 200 nails. How are we doing on that right now? Can I see nails from here? I can. There's 684 nails now. Okay. Well, in that case, let's do what I had mentioned last time. Let's take one guy out of each of these. Get them back in the building and using those nails. We already did on this one. We're, we're out of a guy in this one. Okay. So, and there's our melt. All right. Do we have enough? We did get one person in, one family in. Do we have enough workers now to plant this year's crops? This will be the first year we've got all five going right at spring. So it'll be the most. Yeah, look at that. So we're looking for nine different uh, space for nine laborers. We only have two. <laughs> Oh, interesting. So they're pulling off of their normal jobs. Because there are still spaces available. No, there aren't. Okay. So they could have gone into there. They went into here. Men. And that's fine. So we've got four laborers available. Are we still counting laborers in any other places? Uh, why can't I see the charcoal? There you are. And nobody is assigned to it. Okay. So five. So five laborers at this point are working their way through, and we've got some done, so we're now clipping off the spaces available because there's less space, less work needed. Okay. So you guys are doing your things. This year we're going to have hemp, potatoes, and sunflower. And next year we will get wheat, potatoes, and buckwheat. And eventually we'll have multiple farms, multiple varieties, so there'll be some of each crop coming in every year. And we'll have more uses for those crops, too. Don't want to just make a bunch of potatoes to sit and rot in your warehouses. Let's uh, let's use them up. Speaking of rotting potatoes. Now, there's a question I've got. That seems like that bar was less last time. Now it's gone up a little bit. As they mix newer potatoes in, does it average out the bar? Most likely. The, the, the rot, the spoilage bar. All right, so you guys are a buzz of activity around this area. I want to, I thought it would be nice to have this up and going so I can see it, but I want a, a triangle in here. And it might be nice to give a shorter pathway for some of these folks. So kick it away from the fence a little bit. A pathway in here, a pathway out to wherever. If we were to put some kind of a triangle in here how would we do that a couple of nice arches going into the market square that's one of them another one maybe and these would be little ones at this place though maybe one big one over here somewhere yeah so you rotate around probably perpendicular to this fence um you know i'm going to turn that off that's a little distracting at times. All right, let's try that again. See if that's better, at least better for me. Yeah, so that lets me know when I'm conflicting and when I'm not. So for houses, it helps. Now, I can't tell what's a shadow or not. I'd swear that's a shadow. It is. I'm at a little bit of an angle. That's why it's clipping before I get to the fence. Okay. So take you like so. That looks pretty square. So come off of this corner. And I'm into this market stall. That's what it is. Okay, so if I just pop you in right there, that'll work. So that's the new pathway into that area. Yep, that looks good. These guys leave, and they go to where? So we'll have to transfer into it. And I've got to figure out how to transfer. Can I just... 
let's find out because idea yeah, I have a place to store all these somewhere else so if I say make empty really make empty and I was told to go ahead and okay they're already triggering it that when we do this we can say move resource by cart I thought it was referring to the cart shed in other words move resource by carter but it does say by cart so maybe that is a thing though this is going to go away so fast it's not really uh, something to worry about but if I were to empty these I hate to do them all at once let's if they were gone I could plan this a little better because it's less distracting I guess that's what I'm thinking of let's go ahead and make all these empty we'll do it quick and we'll trigger by cart as well not this one though I think we're well we'll cave the firewood sure we'll trigger that does it do anything if I click that no cart shed built there's my answer no cart shed built so it is by carter even though it doesn't say it so we need a carter to move it if we're gonna use that tab um, so that looks empty already I guess it's just not an or is this the 20 and it's just not been delivered so it still counts because it doesn't look like there's anything left in here curious now she's going to the big one oh it's gone okay oh you grab the last of it okay so this goes away this one will be soon so a pathway in a pathway over and then if we can imagine that building up and running some kind of a large fancy archway entering that area in this case it might be nice to have the always showing okay so we're coming up here this pathway may eventually go straight we can use fences to move our our people around and tell them where they can and cannot walk this is probably huh we can eliminate the log the bench yeah we can eliminate that and that we can't put them back in again we can keep this if we want to do we really want to I kind of think I do maybe a triangle of benches around it um, what are we doing out here? Boy, it would have been nice to have had all the boats built, but that wasn't a possibility. So maybe next year that we will be full on bringing in fish. Yeah. And we can't really dry the fish without the salt, which comes from the trading post. Mmm. There is that too. So many things you want first. Yeah, we need the salt from the trading post. We need the stone to build the salt works. That one. But we need the tax income to pay for what we're going to be buying in the trader. But we need more people to do the jobs. Let's say we have enough people right now to do what we're doing. Let's move you two back. Get these guys ahead a little bit further. And for that matter, I guess then push fishing back a little bit till we've got salt to dry the fish okay so one more house which we're finished with anyway town hall and trading post this time get some salt in by the time we get fish going some stone in then we'll get the salt going and then we'll get the other trader in and then uh, work on a second trading dock and or get the bridge going and get across to the next island all right so benches I'm thinking small benches in this area and they could just kind of surround this guy and we will make him a permanent feature and some kind of a nice little park over here but the park doesn't have to be necessarily associated with the market so it can be two different entities okay I'm kind of reasoning my way through it not just for your benefit but for mine too so, shift button. Yeah, let's go in four instead of three. So, back you into that. That's right, I forgot. I can use F to rotate 90 degrees. Right? You're there. F, yeah. So, 
this makes it a little bit easier. And these weren't there when he started his trip, so he didn't uh, he didn't calculate that one. So you're going to be there, and I may be realigning those guys. Actually, I got them pretty straight to the town hall. Okay, they're off from the campfire in this guy, but that's not going to be there much longer. And we're bringing supplies over. Great. Okay, then if that is there, we're walking up. Again, I wish I could get first person in this game and walk around, but as we're coming up this pathway, which will probably be a little wider time we're done and probably kicked out, we can fence along here, move our benches out, put some trees in here, and make a nice pathway up here, which means my bridge is in the wrong place. No, my my map. Ah. My bridge is there somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I think this fence would work, but we could kick the rest of it out a little bit. Come into an area here, which then heads off like so, into an arch. Like so. What are we thinking about that? Um... Even with that fence. Trying to come up with some kind of an anchor for this guy. So you will be... About like that. Right in there. And depth-wise is what? Okay. So that's going to be a an anchor point. And for that matter then... That goes there... That goes there. I don't know what happens here. But we could fence. And we got this fence going on over here. We got these fences going on over here. We've got a lot of fences to choose from. Almost too many fences. So you... Click. Drag. Come on now. That right click is hard for me to disengage that guy yep see it, it moves my map every time I click that right get okay, you're there um, three which is this guy I believe and we've got this one fence two all right, that's more of what you'd see around a stable or a barn. Um, Four-wheel fence. Whereas this guy... Oh, I want to zoom in further. Is this what they call a split-rail fence? Of course, you got a picket fence. And I don't know what you'd officially call this one. This is more like a... Well, it's not exactly like... Or, or is it? Let me see if I can look straight down it. They call those, what, a, like a waddle fence? The kind where they got the posts in the ground and they just weave branches back and forth across. Ah, uh, village home is done. And our fifth fence we've already seen around the houses, so we can... No, that's not it. Really? There it is. It starts off with a big post. And then changes when you see that post. That kind of threw me off there. Okay, so that fence is there. So this fence looks more like this construction. This is what I wish was around all the houses. In this case, this should touch that just because it already exists. So that was number three, right? Yeah. So let's grab one of those. Will we snap? There we go. You to there. That's similar, not exact, but similar. That is the choice. They get a little gap between the rail and the post. Whereas here, oh, there is here too. I guess it kind of randomizes. Yeah. Anyway, that'll work there. What happens beyond? Probably should match. 
I think it should match this area. And we have different fencing. Well, that's also down in here. Hmm. Maybe as we get into the city, we'll see more of this kind of fencing. Okay. So, I want to put then number three from there to there. Inaccessible. I think I just freaked something out. What does that mean? Alt. It means it just it it conflicts with the yellow and the and the teal there. Okay. So we'll just do something like that. Alright. So that will direct traffic up through and over. And we'll start to see our pathways changing in here. This will turn back into a grassy field, pathway out through here, and we'll start getting more of a diagonal that lines up with this. So you can manipulate how things look over time. So running slow on purpose, I want to do some decorating and I can't do that while there's a buzz of activity around me. So you delete, you delete. All right, so market stalls, we're still emptying them, and that's fine. We're still triggered to empty, make empty, and our labor is not turned on. They are. I would think they'd be more help. We must be filling up more charcoal, but nobody's scheduled there. We are probably filling in, no, more charcoal. Where are our laborers? Planting is done. Huh, I don't know. I thought they'd all be assigned here unless they're assigned here to go get the stuff. No, it doesn't work that way. I don't know. But well, they'll get it eventually. They all went home. That's probably it. Here they come. Alright, so you guys will go away. You go away. And so we're going to walk in here. I think a row of markets stalls I think so I was, I was debating between that and benches but I think the first thing you'd want to do is walk in and actually let's see this from the side of the housing in that case so what happens here then let's position you a little bit better thankfully these are insta build so you rotate in now I can see a little better I don't know if the one of these fences wasn't there when we set this one. Grab you, turn you a little bit more. I like that, okay. So do we fence across? No, because we want easy access from the granaries into the markets. So fencing through here with gates. We don't have gates, do we? No, the only concept of gates we have is right here, the archway. Now what are you? You're a bell post and a birdhouse. Find no. Oh, I see that pops up. So I can't get any closer, but there is a bell post and a birdhouse. Oh, cool. Yeah. And this game will occasionally drop a pot upside down on a fence post. I don't know if that signified something. You know, there isn't eligible lady to be married living in this this home <laughs> or if this says yes we want milk delivery <laughs> or if it's just to leave it so the mosquitoes won't grow in it in in the water i'm not sure what the original tradition of that was but it's definitely something from old ukraine that it would be in this game he's pretty uh, much a stickler bringing the uh, the older customs into the game to make it as realistic as possible um okay so we're coming out of our housing to go to the market do we have market stalls right in front of the granaries what's that look like uh that is here no here trade market and rotate you around like so and let's see it there is space. Kind of like that. Pull up a little bit here. Uh, Rotation-wise, we are just a 
touch like that. Don't want to block the pathway. And we have this pathway we're going to conflict with. But we could be right there. Um, Decor-wise, let's make them all similar. Rather than a bunch of randomness, let's put this shape in. That's what I would... Although, this shape does rain down right on your customers, whereas this one, it pushes the water back behind. Yeah, that is a more functional design, isn't it? So what's the difference here? I've got those two. So is that flatter? Try and get down a little lower. Oh, it's open-sided. That's pretty much the difference. Open-sided. So a stall that stands by itself versus a row of them. Maybe that's the, the thought process there. These will stand by themselves. And right in there. And do we maintain the same design? I think the design randomizes. Let's see here. Is there a blank? There's not. Do we have a design for our town? That all of them wanted to make them similar. I don't know. Okay, so you're here. You can be back quite a ways. Right there. And they design F2. Kind of like that one. Or that one. I think those colors work well. That one's bold enough to be seen from a distance. Let's go there. Shift. Can I do another one? Very similar, right in there. And that still gives a decent walkway beyond into the granary there. I wish I could go a little further. I wish this porch was centered, or even a little further away. Because I kind of want to be right there. But I cannot. So it's there, or there. What am I conflicting with there? Oh, the blue of this one has to get into the... Can't get into the yellow of that one. So, we're over here then. Let's keep them together. So, we're something like that. Depth-wise, can't quite tell from that angle. Right there. Yep, that works. Oh, I clicked. There we go. Alright, so you two are there. Let's rehire. Did I fire these workers? I did not. You're still up and going. Make empty. Maybe there's nowhere to put that stuff. Okay. Well, let's put these things there then. Why is that? Honey, reserved. Okay, buckwheat. There's... We're putting buckwheat in here, right? Yeah. There's place to put them. We just... Didn't get somebody to do the job, I guess. Well, let's... Where am I? Here. Let's buckwheat, honey, peas, and potatoes. This one. Buckwheat. Let's see how good my memory is. Peas. Come on now. Potatoes. And you are hired. And then you... Problem is, they're still going to walk over there and get them before they take them out of here. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Can't move by cart, and we're set to make empties. There's nothing more I can do to prioritize this. Everyone is available to do the work. Let's apply to all so that transfers through. And this one as well. Apply to all. Okay. So we get those going. And transfer goods into there. These will go away once they're emptied. And let's see. Let's set you for whatever's next. And you... Actually, I need to... I guess none of these while we're waiting. So that you can then take other things. Okay. So those two are real. These two are not. And so they're going to walk through, see those here, see a couple more over here, or at least one more, 
is we're going to have a bigger area that's going to branch off in different directions here. So, where do we end this? Maybe we fence across here with a gate so that the granaries are part of the market stall area. So it ends right here. So the pathway comes down. So we could put one more in here. And that is an individual stall. That looks fairly consistent. Fence line's gonna go where though? I don't know if the fence can touch the teal. Give me a fence. Yeah, as soon as I touch the teal, then that goes away. So I can't put a fence alongside of this if I put one here. Okay. So if we were to do that, it would be a smaller arch and aligned with these guys. Something like that. And probably f running this path ending about like so. Something like that. As we get more industry over here, we should see them starting to make this run. So now fence-wise, that might be a problem. I may have to move that one. Let's play with the fence then. So a fence out here would be what? There. Um, I wish these pictures were just a little bit bigger. That's the single rail. That's the picket. That's the three rail. I don't remember this one. Let's see what you are. And if we put you in... Where is... Okay, now I need to show always. So we're somewhere in here. That's that one. And that could work. We're far enough away from all the other fences. Kind of separate this area. It's, it's more of a farming or I guess it could be more of an industrial kind of fence. Sure. So you're going to go there. So would this then naturally stop right there? I think so. You go away. You go back in right there. Okay, that's starting to come together. So you could spend hours and hours and hours decorating these towns. I used to record with a YouTuber who's now Veify and we and Night Ghost 49, the three of us put together a series long ago on Banish when the Mega Mod came out. We were the ones that got to premiere it. It was I we had asked Crawlier who was designing, who was modding for uh, for Banished, uh, for the game Banished, creating mods for it, um, to kind of stabilize a mod for us so we can move the file back and forth between each other for a couple of months because those, those, uh, those different variations of Banish were changing weekly at that point. It was, it was, it was such a, a, uh, a hot game at the, at the time. And instead of just giving us something to work with that we that would be stable he said how about i just combine all of the mods that are out there into one massive mod and we thought okay i had no idea it'd ever get as big as it did that got so big that it actually burnt me out i i, I still can't play that game anymore there are so many choices i mean this is exciting now make that close to a hundred times that you know, 20 different versions of a blacksmith, 20 different versions of a forester, that kind of thing. It got to where I wanted to showcase everything that I could to give all these modders a, a little bit of screen time, but it got to so overwhelming that I just, I just wanted to go to something simpler. I wanted to play Ostrov. <laughs> or, I, you know, Vanilla Banish actually sounds really good right now. But I like games vanilla. When you get too many mods added to something to make it beyond what it was ever intended to be to me it just gets overwhelming 
and but Vapor was really good. He was Vapor at the time. He's VFI now. He he was really good at decorating, and he could spend hours just placing all the little bushes and benches and and you name it, different flowers that would come up at different times of the year and in banished and create these amazing scenes with so much stuff that the game would lag down to where you could barely move. That's what finally killed our series, our Mega Mod series. Is that we had so much stuff on the map that our computers couldn't handle it anymore. You could heat the room with the heat coming off of those computers. So all that eventually came to an end. He would have a ball in this game. He did this, this series. You can go to his channel, look up VFI, and he did... Uh, Ostrov, which has got several banished series where he does a lot of decorating. He's good at this. I'm not. I could spend hours just staring trying to figure out what to do next. So this pathway is going to go through, which means probably more stalls like these guys right across from them. And then kind of a seating area. And then maybe... Now how do we force a pathway through here? I guess we would turn stalls here facing that way let them walk in to the stalls and then continue on around but these may be one stall here and one stall here so the pathway can diagonal through and out that way yeah trying to see this we're letting this guy build anyway we're not going to gain much distance much time in this episode because we just don't need to we can have one game you know, one episode that's just full of creating houses one that's full of planning things out and one that's just down here placing things so let's do that let's just lay some i wish these would go away because i think i want a triangle right here and you're you're kind of it's kind of like that that thatchery that was just plaguing me over here waiting to put these other houses in i do wish i had more room i would have loved to kick this out just a little bit further this pathway but it wasn't the thing it wasn't available at the time and now it's too too late to go back why are you not emptying what am i not getting here i don't quite understand this you have got the same items and you've refilled yeah let's oh did it not get clicked it did not get clicked you did you're out you're gone that just did not get clicked. Okay. But we've got four ladies working on it, so that should go really fast. All right, good. So we're going to walk through here. We're going to come up through here. This is probably seating and trees. Trees could be on the other side to not get in the way of the seating. Okay. So long benches in here. Rotate you around and... Can't quite see the fence through the shadows. I think that's level with it, or parallel. Let's drop you in, you in there. Um, yeah, let me see that. Oh, I wish I could zoom in. I'll say that 200 more times too, but I just, I'm rolling my mouse constantly. I just want to get in a little bit closer. I'm getting older. Needing reading glasses now, and either make it brighter or put the glasses on. One or the other will make this. Oh, I can't be any closer. Will make this easier to see. The yellow is conflicting with the blue there, or the the teal. It's not quite blue. It's not quite green. It's just enough to. If I pick one or the other, you'll think I'm colorblind. So, <laughs> all right, let's put four in here. Lots of seating in this area. And that's fairly even right there. All right. So that's like that. You're going to test drive one of those. Thank you. You are done. Right? Fire you there. I'll rehire you here in a little bit. Now. So we're going to walk through. We're going to have stalls on this side. We're going to have stalls on this side. How this fence interacts with the rest of this and town hall, I don't know. Is it just a diagonal right here? Does it move around? Does it even open up a little further for some reason? I'm not sure yet. Market stall. Right there. Um, 
that didn't work. That one. And I can't see that design. Here you are. Let's see here. F2. Wow, I can't see that design. You get to where the sunlight's a different angle. There we go. That's us. That's us. All right, what was that noise? Town Hall is done. Great. So let's rotate you to match. Like so, and then hit the F a couple times. Now, depth-wise is what? Even with the pathway, but we're creating another pathway here. And we're needing to get out to that diagonal somewhere. You can be over here, but the other one I think is angled differently. So you're part way in. You're about like so. Is that what I really want? Well, we'll put it in, we'll find out. But I'm thinking that this one, then... Yeah, I should have held that shift just to maintain the, the same design. So you're there, and actually it looks like it's the right one. What if we were to turn you at a diagonal in here? Coming through this arch, I see they're starting to plant their yards now. You would want to be probably parallel with this guy. Which is pretty close already. Another few taps of the R. I'll call that good enough. He could be out in front a little bit. With another one behind him going that way. Which means I can intersect these a little. The front even. So that's about there. And we can't touch the two colors. I think that's probably it. Hold the shift. And another one off over here. Like so. Alright, so parallel. Like so. Right in there. I think that's it. I'm also looking at this pathway here, that pathway, this pathway, coming out of there. A lot going on in this little area. You need to be right there, down to there. I think that's it. Okay. So with that, uh, it randomized on me. So holding the shift didn't do a bit of good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lesson learned. You're right there, and that is the right one. And I need to rotate to that one. Okay, so you were in there. You were forward. Something like that. All right, so that is the beginnings of our market. We may do something else out over here. We may just come around in a bit of more of a circle. And then I want benches, and I, benches could be along this side too. Yeah, that will imp, you know, force the foot traffic. Give them a reason to walk along there as well. Though, I may be, hmm, I may be tearing all that out. I can, I can see wanting a tree and a bench and a tree and a bench and a tree or something like that. So I'll leave the benches at that point. All right, so let's employ at least three of these. All right, so what happened? We've got no, no stock. That's what happened. Wow, we've got three things in all of here. So we've used up a lot of our supplies. That's what it is. So you're in there. You're in there. You, we will hire anyway, but and add firewood into you. You're the firewood dealer. Beyond that, would there be a reason to have more than just 100 firewood? Can I put water? No. So you can't scoop a bunch of water up and have, bucket it and have it ready. Okay. 
what other supplies like that i mean later we're going to get into shoes we're going to get into clothing and different kinds of clothing there's lots of other things that you you can sell in the market besides foods and we'll get into chicken chicken meat chicken eggs uh fish dried fish earthenware yeah that's right we got clay and pottery coming up now beer beef will be able to have cattle slaughter the cattle meat i don't see ribs in here and uh, uh tenderloin and <laughs> we're just gonna call it all beef okay and are there pigs i don't remember if there are pigs or not um what would that be where are chickens chickens cow dairy pigs sheep slaughter tannery <laughs> It's all in the right order. Okay, so we've got a town hall. And where am I? I am... Phew, I'm an hour into this. Okay, town hall. We'll probably just conclude this episode with the uh, talk of the town hall. Manage seasonal hiring. Not enough counselors to ena enable this policy. Seasonal hiring and counselors. Okay, there's something I have not gotten into before. So we'll wait and see just how that works works um treasury so now we can levy taxes it starts off with levying 30 cents for renting a village house and 30 cents for renting an apartment we've got a land tax wealth tax we can see our our uh wealth base so how many families more than half have more than a hundred in their house so in this particular environment I think a wealth tax would do the city well so I'm going to the tax itself let's see shift to increase in steps let's take the wealth tax itself up to something like five and for those that are over that shut it all at once, okay? That are over... Well, in this economy... Probably 70 or 80... Would be considered very wealthy. Let's play with that right now. Otherwise, we're not into apartments. I think that comes in with those row houses. So, renting a house... Tell me... Is this land tax and this house... I think that's it. I was going to I don't think increasing the house rent is going to do any good. So I don't think these are houses. I think they are land. So let me know if I'm wrong there. Does it say do we have any kind of a hint? We don't. No question marks to click on. Okay. But I think that's what we're building. These are the houses with no yards and these are the row houses. Let me know if I'm wrong there. We can put in a tavern and then tax the, the taverns. And I'd say let's go ahead and just set that one, even though it's not going to be available for a while. The burger, uh, barber surgeries, that will be in the row houses. So we'll get that established now. Um, let me know in the comments what you typically use tax-wise. I won't get into these guys yet, though 30 cents seems a little low to me based on uh, I'm going to have so many jobs available or do my best to make sure that everybody has the opportunity to be, to be employed so we're going to see home incomes so monthly income of 5 and monthly income of 625 5 you know we get some houses with older children you get multiple people working within the same home 750 a monthly income wealth Land tax is 15. Yeah, they don't have rent. So they have land tax. Okay. So land tax of... And then it depends on how big of a space you gave them. Of course, you give them a much bigger space, they're going to have to pay a lot more in taxes. So they're going to need to be able to sell the goods that they make on their land to make up for that. What else do we have in here? You, treasury, so we can... Actually, population. We can see what they make. We already had this information available. Got some nice charts here now. Age breakdown. How many 30-year-olds we have right now. Um, 
when we get into our older years we have to make sure to get a cemetery on resources be able to see resources a lot easier than just popping this guy down is that the one why are you not oh there we go so we, that's what we had before now we have this what is stored in storage what we have sold in the markets we've sold a lot of firewood money that we have spent could that be considered wages that could be way spent or used maybe that's a way of saying used we have used 26,000 charcoal now that's probably what that means bought garlic I don't quite get that one why they're not more is that just this year what's our snapshot I assume that that is since day one so I don't get that one imported nothing yet what we've produced what we've stored so we've produced 42,000 charcoal we're storing that we've used that already okay so that's available population we've seen treasury anything else in here so what we want to pay everybody so we can do that individually or we can do it corporately throughout throughout the uh, the whole town um, and we're paying our laborers the same as we're paying our monthly you know full-time jobs purchase from citizen price so we're buying from them at 90 percent selling at 100 giving ourselves a little bit of profit we can decrease this and make more money but we're going to give them less to pay their land taxes with so you've got to adjust that accordingly don't get greedy or they'll all move out and you'll have a you'll have a ghost town so your job is to make their lives wonderful and as well as maintain the uh, the economy as a whole but with that i have got to make a trip to the airport i'm coming up on that hour mark anyway so i think i'm going to call this one done there's a lot more decorating to do we didn't get much accomplished but we uh yeah, it was fun doing what we did. So I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching. Bye now.